Hey, Sean, what are you doing? Packing up our stuff for moving day. Hi, it's Sean and Julie. Welcome back to Chicory's Travels. In case you missed our last video, we talked about wanting to downsize from our 44 foot fifth wheel into something that was 30 feet or less, had good all weather, all year insulation, and adequate tanks for dry camping. And we found it. We are now sitting in our new Arctic Fox fifth wheel. It's a, the 27 5L model. It's 29 and a half feet long. So it met our 30 foot requirement. Mm -hmm. It has some of the best insulation. Yeah, it has like heated heat. holding tanks. Well, besides the heat, it's got just incredible R value insulation on the roof, underneath and on the sides. And then also the holding tanks are heated. Even the outlets are heated. So um, true all weather mm -hmm. capability. With double paned windows that we didn't have before. So we chose Arctic Fox not only for the insulation and the, um, you know, the all weather capability. We also like them because they build their own chassis. So the chassis are built for this size of RV and built to the standards of the RV, which we, which we think is really good. They have all wood cabinetry, which um, is mounted in a way that makes it more kind of residential. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of storage, by the way. And then, like Julie said, the, the double paned windows and the heated holding tanks were really important to us. And the other thing was, as we did our research, we just found that Arctic Fox had a great reputation which is kind of hard to come by in the RV industry. And we know we said we always wanted to, we were gonna buy used in our, in our next RV, but um, number one, the price that we got by going to a show and then holding out until the last day of the show when they didn't sell it, um, and the amount we got for our trade, it was still within our $10,000 difference of budget also, uh, we could not find a used one that was um, less than three years old. They're just hard to find um, out there. I, yeah. People hang on to them. So Yeah, we've actually had several people reach out to us after watching our last video saying that they have an Arctic Fox, that some of them are five years or more old, and that they still love them. Yeah. We opted not to get the onboard generator they're way too fuel inefficient and we have a lot more room up front so I can put my batteries, my uh, inverter charger and all that stuff right up in that front bay. And by the way, the, the dealership we got it from had no problem with me taking all that stuff out of our cyclone. Mm -hmm. I just left the solar panels on the roof and uh, we'll put new ones up on this one, but everything else they let me take and replace it with their stuff that was on the arctic fox so um, plenty of room up front now for that and then we'll just get uh, portable generators to uh, for when we need them and it also had these really neat on the side like two sliding trays for batteries and then the other two batteries because we have four battleborne lithium batteries or, or what'll go up front with the generators and it's also wired for solar but sean's gonna have to make some adjustments i guess yeah, because it's only wired for like uh, 10 amps, and we're going to need a lot more than that, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments, but it's pretty easy to do with um, how they set it up, so it shouldn't be a tough job to get it ready to go. Certainly a lot better than having to do like we did with the cyclone yeah. and setting that up. So, so that's keep your eyes open. Benefit. Yeah, and keep your eyes open because uh, he'll do a video on that and let you know like what he did. So if you buy one that's wired for solar but not quite the magnitude you want, you'll know what to do. And the gross vehicle weight for this fifth wheel is only 13,000 pounds. So that's pretty light compared to our cyclone, which was um, I think right over 20,000 uh, when it was fully loaded. So this is great uh, downsize for us. It should help with our fuel efficiency. And uh, another reason why we went with the fifth wheel is because we already have a truck that's 
paid hard, for. Yeah, that's already <laughs> paid for. So it was really hard to give that up. And it's a big, what, one ton dually, is that how you say it? Diesel truck. So it has many, many more miles left to go on it. And this only has one slide in the living area and then one slide in the bedroom, but it's our way more living space than we had in our cyclone. Yeah, so what I really liked about this one is that it's a rear kitchen and there's windows all the way around. So it just seems so light inside and roomy. I definitely didn't give up any storage space in the living room kitchen area because there's a lot of cabinetries and, and uh, drawers. Um, I also really like this dinette table. Um, I had to put in a small dinette table when we remodeled our fifth wheel, our toy hauler that we had, but this is the full size one and it actually has storage in the tabletops and in the seats. Yep. And then the, the recliners that came with it are the theater seat style that we had in our fifth wheel with the heat, massage, all that stuff. Um, plenty of lighting in here, um, all LED, except for I think there's two lights that are non-LED, but everything else is our LED lights, so good for energy efficiency. Um, the refrigerator is a dual power refrigerator, which is something we really wanted. We didn't like having the residential refrigerator in the RV, so we, um, we really like that feature as well. And it has a ceiling fan, which is pretty neat and kind of helps keep the air flowing. Um, and then the TV in the living room, there's also a radio. Yeah, and the radio, it's really interesting because you can, it has three different zones. So the living room's a zone, the bedroom's a zone, and outside is a zone. And you can play the radio in those different zones and increase or decrease the volume in each of those zones. So like at night, um, I put on classical music and I just have the radio, the speakers on in the bedroom. And so it doesn't uh, play outside or in the living room or anything like that. Something unique about this particular model we got um, is that normally these 27 5Ls are 30 amp uh, RVs, but this one they added an extra air conditioner in the bedroom. And so they had to make it 50 amp. So um, it's nice having that second air conditioner although the one in the living room keeps it plenty cool if if we need to turn it on but yeah. we hardly had to use it at all yeah and um in the bedroom some of the things that i like well for starters it is smaller which we didn't really care about the size of the bedroom but what we did want was that it had a walk around and it was important for us to both be able to get out of our respective sides of the bed so we're not like tripping over each other in the middle of the night or anything and we do have that um, and also what I really liked is that there's a nightstand and a reading light and your own power both 12 volt and um, regular on both sides of the bed we each have two different cubbies one above the nightstand and one below that can fit a bin for a little extra storage and then we each have a drawer on each side and then over in the slide side uh, of the bedroom that's where the closet is with a couple more drawers and underneath the bed is more storage i think than our other one right Yeah, way more yeah. and definitely easier to get to yeah but it had a good mattress on it. Yep, it had a good mattress, and they even put, to go along with the good mattress, they put some mood lighting up above the bed for the nice atmosphere for yeah. the new mattress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the bathroom, um, that bedroom slide, it extends also into the bathroom, so there's actually a linen closet in there and um, a drawer underneath that. And then underneath the sink, there's a couple more cabinets there's a full size medicine cabinet. And then there's also one of those lighted uh, mirrors that is magnifying and regular. So kind of like a makeup mirror or something. So it's, even though the bathroom is sm a little bit smaller than we had before, there's, there's more um, like storage space and stuff in there. And it's got a complete porcelain toilet in there, which is pretty cool. Um, that's my favorite spot, so. <laughs> His I, office. I like having that nice, uh, kind of like residential toilet in there. Um, still the foot flush, but everything else really feels like a residential toilet. Yeah. 
a couple problems we've had. Um, one is the shower. Um, it's a one piece shower and where the metal and the plastic connect, I guess it's not cocked very well, whoever manufactures that shower. So we've had to do some work with that. Um, it was leaking a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, th when we first got it, the radio wasn't coming on, but I think it just took a while to warm up to us because now it works yeah. fine. <laughs> and I don't think we've had any other problems yet. No. No? Um, I mean, we're really happy with it. We're really happy with it. Um, I will want to do some cosmetic changes after a while, but I still have a little bit of unpacking to do, and I just kind of want to relax and enjoy it. But, I mean, it does have, probably the only thing I don't like about it is that it does have the tan wallpaper that every RV I've ever been in has. So I will paint that like I did in our other RV. And then it has the lovely uh, valances that um, look like they're your grandma's curtains. So I'll change that. But besides that, I don't, I'm probably not gonna change anything. We love the furniture. Yeah. And I love the cabinets. I don't plan on painting those. I didn't in my other RV either. I like the wood, dark wood cabinets. And then, the tank capacities, I know we mentioned that they ha it had good tank capacities, but it's 82 gallons of fresh water, 102 gallons of gray water, and 65 gallons of black, which um, based on what we've done so far in our kind of dry camping or boondocking style, that will work for us very well. Yeah, easily. And the gray, the reason why it's so much is that there are two gray tanks. Um, the sink, The kitchen sink has its own gray tank. So right now we're at a campground. We're going to be here for a couple more weeks to give Sean a chance to get our um, power and our uh, batteries and our, our lithium batteries and our solar installed. And then we're going to be boondocking for a couple of weeks. So um, like I said, he'll be documenting that process as he does it, but it'll give us a little chance to get settled in before we do some boondocking and uh, we'll let you know how that goes. And then we would just like to give a shout out to the folks at the Desert Autoplex and RV in Mesa, Arizona. Um, they worked really hard for us and um, got us the deal that we really wanted. Mm -hmm. And um, when we had that problem with the shower, we went back the very next morning and they had somebody waiting for us to fix it because they knew yep. we were going to be out of town. So those guys did a really great job and uh, we, we couldn't be happier with the service that they gave us and the time in the time frame that we really needed it. Yeah. So thanks for checking in and seeing our new RV until we see you on the road. Safe travels.